Greetings, ladies and gentle players. It's another wonderful Friday this November of 2023, making it a wonderful day for basics. Continuing on our tribute to good old retiring Nick Sabiki, I'm on KGS still with good old bad moves. And wow, I see the captain. All right, my goal now is to end the uh, this series by getting up to three on and playing a basics game with uh, the good old Capitan again. But right, we are 4Q right now, and ooh, what do we have here? Looks like a 1530 looks perfect. Let's see if we can snag a game. All right. Got ourselves a game here. Let's get you... Oh, I'm black. Let's get you nameplates. We've got that one, and we've got that one. Excellent. I feel like just going and doing something very, very old school. Something from, you know, the Nick era. Flat. Simple, small night enclosure. Can't get more simple than that, I don't believe. All right, got an attachment to my stone. We'll go ahead and do the Hane. That's the sound of a... Arg, not Epic Games Launcher. Epic Pen, thank you. We'll go ahead and just take our fourth and fifth line territory. Because we are not greedy, and we're going to start also putting big moves on as a Bordeaux. We got the enclosure, obviously, and approaches on both corners, obviously. I will take that for myself. There is no move that he can play to perfectly tie these up. So we will be, oh dear, okay, sure, whatever. The attachment is not from Nick's era, but it's okay as what he was. I'll play for the territories, I believe. So, yoinkers, there we go. Okay, he wants to do that. Fantastic. Now, there is still the turn here. I am going to follow up. See, that's the problem now, isn't it? You can all tell how this game just went bad. So, how did it? How did it? How did it just go bad? It's a head scratcher, right? Hmm. Well, it's pretty simple. I can attack both of these simultaneously. This threatens to surround and kill the three. It also threatens to poke it here, making this only have, like, one eye. And then we just come out and split both of them. I have a splitting attack on this board right now. <sighs> but you know me. Maybe you don't know that blah blah blah. Sure, we'll approach first. We'll do this in mid-game. I will give him until mid-game to fix this position. That is not fixing the position. Okie dokie. Double approach, then. Um, sure. We'll go ahead and continue. I don't think this is actually... Can I view offline? I can't view offline. Yeah, this is not quite normal. Here, we're going to go ahead and push and cut, because this is just a variation that he picked, so... He played a Jisaki. I know the Jisaki, so I'm playing it. Simple as that. I think this is supposed to be a two-space, but I think rumor has it the AI doesn't like that kind of play. So, maybe it's not the greatest. I'll just drop down, nice and solid. Otherwise, he, like, wedges, and then you get really screwed. Now, what he's going to do here is tough. If he does a one-point jump, we will be extending, because the push and cut three of that just flat-out works and kills stones. If he does a low, okay, yeah, just like I was saying. Okay. Now, this is actually a 
bad shape to have made for himself. Do I want to highlight why? You know, I think I will go ahead and do that. So we have the push. We have the cut. We have the throw in. And we have the Atari. So that is the shape that he just made. Not a very good shape, I'm sure you would all agree. Made himself into a horrible little dumpling. He's going to do a one point jump or he's going to die. So, one point jump, right? One point jump. There you go. And now we're going to Atari here. If I can get a little bit of a basey base over here, that would be fantastic as well. And, I don't know, some kind of shapely doodle would be fantastic. And I would also kind of like to attach here for forcing moves. So all of these are pretty good. Now, which one is better? Well, this one is pretty huge because Mr. Not Alive over here needs to get something. You could play here if you want to be like 110% solid and alive and whatever. And not really playing aggressively against this. Here I'm cutting with an Atari. This is the most severe disconnect that I can come up with. He's going to jump. Fair play to you, my good man. I have a choice. I could lean against this group to play on the left, or I can just come out to keep attacking it. Those are the choices we must decide right now. I'm going to just come out. This still has a uh, bit of a value, but I'm going to change it slightly. I'd rather play this one now because it also acts as a cap while giving me shape. So we're going to make that teensy tiny little adjustment. Um, I, I kind of like it now, to be honest. Yeah, let's go, ahead and, let's go ahead and snag it. Gives me the shape that I want. That was the capping thing that I'm looking for. So, sure, let's go ahead and play that. Note we're playing the urgent moves before the big move, like C11. Uh, so, urgent before big, very important proverb. Uh, he hurt my stone, I will respond. <clears throat> I will double Hane here if I can, so that would be fantastic. Fully surround the group. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and take, because it creates cutting points. So yeah, right now, if we wanted to go ahead and start cutting him, <clears throat> totally could. Um, boom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, boom. One more move should be fine, because push and cut, obvious. Atari would be not a good idea. Oh, he did it! Did he even think about it before he played? I don't know if he did. I suspect maybe he didn't. Oh dear, deary, deary me. Oh man, I don't, I don't know if he did. I will ask a very, very, very poignant question. Did you think before you played? Uh, <clears throat> so you're letting me cut through you. I don't know why he wants to play a co here. We have such insane threats. I I don't know why he'd want to play a co here. I really don't. I'll let him. I'll let him. I'm letting him off the hook. I'm letting him off the hook. You would. You could totally play a co here because I. I mean, if he connects when you retake and you kill him, then it's just, it's all she wrote. All right, I had to be careful. Backing off allowed him to fix his group essentially for free, right? So he's got some territory here. No, nothing painful really happened to do this. So, you know, problems. 
Um, as a result, I'm actually going to play a three space instead because I don't really want to be behind enemy lines. And if he just kills off the one stone, I'll, I'll be relatively happy with that. Kind of like that. Kind of exactly like that. Now we'll approach. Mm, can I surround you? Do you mind if I just like, you know, scooch on in there? Surround your corner, come on out. Whichever. Normally we don't jump from this kind of thing, but you know. Well, we've got friends in the area. Why not, you know? Uh-oh, uh-oh, what is this? Okay. What are we doing here? I advise caution, sir. Right now it's looking like I can just descend to A14 and connect underneath on either side. What if Yohane's here, though? Then you Atari here and kill the two stones. Oh, dear. This is looking really good. Not gonna lie. That's, mmm, I don't know. It's looking kind of sketchy, huh? Uh, if I play here, he plays there. Is that a threat? It probably is. I'll play here instead. How's that sound? Mm. I don't like it. Because if I play here, he could 10 gen and then go for like a cut. Mm. All right. I mean, I can play way over here. <laughs> I mean, that stops it. Uh, it's extremely loose, but that stops the pokes into the cuts. So it is what it is, right? Sure. I'm going to play so far away from these two stones. You can't try poking it in Sente to cut something. There you go. That, that'll, that'll do it. That'll get her done. Get her done. I just literally defended against that. I, I am actually a little bit offended. I just thought about how not to... Not to let you do that. Because if the Tengen was on the field, right? Then he could play here. And that becomes harder to defend against, right? Yeah. So I needed to not let that be Sente. Nice to be careful. He's opening up his own cutting point if he's not paying attention. Because we can go here, into here, or here into a cut through, maybe. It's getting kind of risque. Moves that I also want to play. I would like to surround. I am giving serious consideration to dropping down and trying to murder him. And then maybe, maybe that one. I don't know. I wouldn't 3 3 because it would just hurt the two something outside. And technically, this is becoming a pretty... Okay, never mind. No, it isn't. Not anymore, it ain't. Never mind. Fake news. That stone does not matter anymore. All right. So, things I want to do. First things first, let's go ahead and play this, because this is helping the middle situation, which settles me. I like it. I'm pretty sure I can settle for this move. Wait, if he plays here, am I screwed? Uh, gonna go ahead and say no, sir. Are you lying? <laughs> no, we're not lying at all. I'm just not telling the truth. 
<laughs> it's gonna be great. Alright, again, Hane, just to defend. Hmm. This is tough. Okay. I'm stuck. In basics, I would say, protect your cutting points. But I would also say urgent before big. And this jump out is pretty urgent now. I don't know. I I'm stuck on proverbs here. I think I'm going to go with urgent before big. Because is it big to put the cutting point right here and make sure you can't kill your one stone? Sure. But it's just one stone. It's more urgent to cut everything apart while strengthening yourself and threatening like a billion points. So that also seems like a thing, you know? Making sure that there's like a sense of capping here. Obviously he doesn't want to die in the middle of the board. Only question is, what's he going to do next? Ooh, hey, how you doing? I will, Hane. And I'm going to Atari. And then I'm going to connect, because I will double Hane, to kill off the three stones. And by three, I mean four. But hey, who's counting? Clearly not me. So at this point, I think it's fair to say that the game is probably over soon. I probably won't play B14. I might just play B16 exchange and let him kill off my one stone. Alrighty then. I'm giving serious consideration to just killing the middle. I confess it is becoming increasingly interesting. Let's be careful. His corn is being surrounded. If he doesn't defend it, I may 3-3 three, three him because it puts in question where are your uh, liberties. I'm defending top rather than bottom because I'm actively hunting him in the middle of the board. So more stones... Uh, reinforced closer to his group that's limiting where he can, you know, wiggle around in uh, means he's got a greater chance of death. The only problem that I have right now is I think H14 is an emergency out for him. So in order to play this way, I would need to play this one first. Because if I play here, here, yeah, I would have to play here and let him Atari me. To just kill off those stones, you know? Oak. Oh, also, I don't want to die in the middle of the board. You can file that under things that I'm thinking about doing. Or not doing, I guess. Reinforcing my cutting point. Now we're all nicely connected. Don't have to worry about dying anymore. Question then becomes, where is my man's shape? Uh, okay. Oh, he's doing that one. Did he just get an eye? I hope not. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm stupid. So he's got the, uh, the clamp. I connect the Atari's. Take my one stone. That's just spiteful. Yeah, I, I can be spiteful too. Take that. Yeah. Yeah, see what I just did there? Reverse sentade you. Direct. You deserved it, though. See? You deserved it. Everyone agrees. That was a deserved. Fixing some shape shapes. Good. 
because the turn's huge. Turn still, Mui Big O, as they say where I come from. If I play here, he's got the clamp, doesn't he? Oh, he does have the clamp. Do I gotta retreat to, like, here? Hmm. So, I want to play here. Because it threatens to kill him. He threatens to clamp to uh, live. I instantly poke at that and then defend. He retreats down. I keep him at one eye. Bob's your uncle. But I would never recommend you run your opponent into your area, would I? No. No, I would not. And thus, we have a problem. Because even though I think this does kill, I would never recommend it. Because if you're wrong, you just lost all of your territory, fifth line, mind you, for no frickin' reason. Which is why sometimes you gotta say, you gotta do what I say, and not as I do. You see... I'm doing it because I'm dumb. And the exact thing that I said was going to happen is now going to happen. Because I'm pretty sure I can keep anything I want here from being an I. Now, if I am wrong, which, I mean, come on, that doesn't sound likely, me misreading. <sighs> I don't think so. If I am wrong, that is critically bad. Because he lives, but so far he has not defended his cutting point. And now he never will. Okay. That looked, that looked pretty clean. Okay, that looked pretty clean. He is dead in the middle of the board. You will notice I lost some fifth line territory doing this. That is the risk you take. You could just defend. You would have been okay. There is no problem there. Now if I drop down, I think he's dead. Right? Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and just uh, finish this off, shall we? I think we shall. Uh, that's going to be a no, sir. Okay, we got some last minute disagreements. Let's see, this is a false eye. This is a false eye if he tries to claim it. He only has the one eye here, right? I am an idiot. Now, I'm actually going to keep this game uploaded. I do not know how. I misclicked here and I didn't even process it. I, I have no idea. I didn't even process it. I do not know how I did not process that. Like, I clicked there? I thought I clicked there. Apparently I didn't. So when he took, I didn't even like, yeah, we'll just go and he play here and make sure there's no, like, any other weird stuff he can try. And no, no, yeah, okay, congratulations. I misclicked and I didn't realize it. So, uh, yeah, I, I did lose the game. Cool, Pog Champ. Yikes. That is, that is pretty gross. That is pretty gross. Because that doesn't work, obviously. That doesn't work, obviously. Um... 
technically this one would work still as just long as you process hey you misclicked you have to go back and reconnect here because this there's nothing there and here's the same thing there's nothing there right so he's just dead and you win by uh estimate looks like nope he's got that one though looks like you win by about 60 points uh give or take so cool oh sorry make that you win by about 71 points give or take so yeah fairly fairly straightforward i liked the game i thought it went pretty uh well for a basics game so even though somehow I didn't realize I misclicked the connection. Still uploading it. Still uploading it because I think there's enough lessons here that I want to keep it shared with y'all. So yeah, that was really, really stupid.